into the first segment of Be Inspired. I'm Tina Patton. And I'm Michael Patton. And we are co-pastors of Kingdom Life Christian Cathedral right here in South Bend, Indiana. This is a new talk show that has been created to inspire and educate and inform you on things and topics that are going to really bless you and really let you know that you can be all that you can be. And so we're, this show is inspirational, it's practical, and we want you to increase your level of expectation and really to come up a little higher than what you have been before. The show is for young people and is for people that are also not you know, so young. And so we promise to bring you topics that are going to be fresh, uplifting, that are going to be relevant, and that are going to be in season. And we plan also to invite various guests that are going to help us on this mission. So Mike, what else are we going to be talking about on this show, Be Inspired? There's a number of topics, Tina, that we're going to be talking about. We're going to be looking at uh, parenting. Uh, we're going to be talking about financial matters. Um, we'll be talking about income from hobbies. Uh, we'll, be talking about, um, we'll be talking about entrepreneurship. Um, we'll be looking and talking with local authors uh, as well. We also will be talking from the topic singlehood and being saved. We will be talking about dealing with loss as well as uh, we'll talk about marriage. And then uh, lastly, we'll talk about preacher's children. And you know we're going to talk about a lot more things than that. Yes. Yes. And so even as we begin to um, really share with the community or the region some of these things that are really the Lord has impressed upon us, one that is near and dear to our hearts is the topic of finance. And you Certainly. know, you and I have um, been teaching on finance, uh, finances. We've also written a book called Financial Prosperity and Success. That's right. And so we're going to be talking about how you can navigate your way out of poverty and out of financial bondage. And so in addition to discussing about, of course, tithing and giving, mm -hmm. we're going to be talking about wisdom and um, how you need to save and really some of the things that we need to do to make sure that we are living within our own means and not somebody else's. That's right. And it's so important uh, that each of you be a part uh, of each uh, series or episode that we will share, uh, most especially when we talk about financial matters. It's important that we get our financial house in order. And there are uh, different ways that you can do that. And I look forward, as well as my wife, Tina, look forward to sharing with you the options uh, and strategies that are out there in order for you to get your financial house in order. Yeah, so we're going to be talking about um, debt reduction techniques and investing. And our financial segments are also going to be talking to the young people as well. Mm -hmm. Because it's never too early to start talking about saving and investing, especially uh, the young people that are headed to college. We know That's that right. we're going to have all kind of credit card companies that are knocking on our door sure. trying to get us to get in debt. And mm -hmm. so we want to be able to give them some tools that they need to use That's right. in order to make sure that they make the right and responsible decisions. That's right. Yes. And so it's going to be important even for our young people to be a part uh, of that particular topic as well. Um, I wish I had the information that I have now uh, when I was young. Uh, I believe, uh, based upon the information that I have now, that I would have been able to save thousands of dollars um, uh, if I had started when I was young uh, up until now. And so it's uh, good to recognize uh, that you have an opportunity to position yourself uh, to prosper and to position yourself to save money uh, that you would not have uh, financial worries uh, as you grow. And you know, sometimes, and, and one another topic that we're going to be talking about is um, income from hobbies. And there are certain things that we are doing that we don't even know that they're income producing sure. items. And so there sure. are things that you like to do. And I know that you're doing them right now for free. And so mm -hmm. we want to inspire you to not only bless somebody else, but bless yourself by turning your hobbies into income. That's right. Some of you, um, you have the ability to uh, cook. Um, it's a hobby to you. You don't mind cooking. You love uh, preparing food. Uh, there are opportunities there uh, within uh, your community, within the region that you live in, uh, whereby that you can uh, cook for someone else and be paid for it. There are so many opportunities that we can 
reach into, expand ourselves into that afford us an opportunity to uh, make an income. Yeah, I'm excited about that, taking mm -hmm. your hobby to the next level. Yeah, about that? that's it. Yeah. I'm telling you. Th there's another topic that we're talking about that, um, you know, as pastors, we get a lot of questions about, and that's parenting. And mm -hmm. no one knows really, you know, really, I'm going to say it, nobody really knows how to parent. That's right. There are many books that have been written about parenting, Certainly. but nobody really has mm -hmm. all the answers about it. But what we're going to do is we're going to give you some winning ways to raise some winning children. Sure. And so we're going to really talk about some tips and techniques for parenting. That's right. And the, the good thing about this segment, I love the inspired, mm -hmm. is that we're also going to have some young people on the show as well. And they're going to give us some of their own ideas mm -hmm. about some of the techniques that they believe rock for them yeah. to help to motivate them. Yeah. And then some techniques that they think suck that demotivate them. Sure. And so I think it's going to be some good information for parents to see, um, hearing from the children, because we can all learn from everybody. That's right. That's right. So we look forward to that topic and sharing uh, some important skills uh, that will help you to be a better parent. We're practicing parents ourselves. As Tina has made mention, uh, we're not perfect, but we continue to practice the skills that we've learned uh, and we get better at it as we go. Yeah, you know, I'm hoping that I got to talk to my teenagers about it, but we even want to give a short course on teen speak. Sure. Yeah, because Apostle Mike, you on fleek tonight. Mm -hmm. ah. right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some of the other topics that we're going to be talking about is um, entrepreneurship. And uh, we're excited about that. We're excited about people being able to have their own. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to invite some entrepreneurs to come to the show and talk to us about what has inspired them to really step out and do their own thing and build their own businesses, many of them from the ground up. Sure, yeah. Entrepreneurship is important, important to our city, important to you as well. And certainly uh, there are many of you that have business ideas that have been given by God and God wants you to birth those business ideas and become an entrepreneur. Yes, yeah, so we want this show to inspire you to move in that direction. If that has been the desire of yours to become an entrepreneur, we want to inspire you to do that very thing. Mm -hmm. And in that same, along that same line, um, we have, will have local authors to come, those who have written books, who have not only been a blessing to this region, but also have been a blessing nationally. Mm -hmm. And Apostle, you know about that because you've written your own book. And, Certainly. And so we want to, of course, have you on, talk about your inspiration, yes. what has led you to write a book mm -hmm. that we know has been blessing many people here in this region. Um, so we're going to have everybody come on because everybody has a story to tell. That's right. And so right. we want to make sure that whatever story you have to tell, you can get it out and it can inspire, some, inspire somebody else. That's right. And so we look forward to that opportunity in sharing uh, with our audience as well, uh, local authors that will come in and share their story and encourage you, hopefully as well, challenge you and push you to write your own book. Right, because you never know. Your story may be a story that heals somebody else or, right. or encourages somebody else to reach a goal that they had set mm -hmm. or could help someone to overcome some issue that they have. So we don't want you to keep those things bottled up. We want you to be inspired to tell your story so that somebody else can be blessed or healed. That's right. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're also going to be talking about um, singlehood and mm -hmm. um, really being single and um, being saved at the same time. And a lot of times people think being single is a curse, but being single is not a curse. No. No. And so we want you to help you explore how to maintain your singlehood while at the same time managing your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. That's right. And uh, singlehood can be easy when you have Christ in your life. Mm -hmm. It can be difficult when you don't have Christ in your life. Um, and certainly being single comes with some challenges. And so when God is on your side and leads you and gives you the wisdom that you need, you can be a successful single person, male or female, in the Lord. Mm -hmm. And so we want to talk about really um, expectation and let you understand that expectation is good. You know, when we were all children, we expected things at Christmas time and we waited for Christmas. 
And so just think about your singlehood as really kind of an expectation like Christmas time. You know it's coming. Mm -hmm. um, and so you know it's going to happen. And so you're not fretting because you don't believe it's going to happen. It is going to happen. Mm -hmm. So the Lord has told you certain things. Believe it's going to happen. So just wait in expectation and be excited about what the Lord is going to do in your life as far as your mate is concerned. That's right. And when you set expectations and goals, um, and you set goals or expectations that can be reached. Once you have reached your expectation or goal, it's easy for you then to move to the next. And so we want to encourage you in your singlehood to expect for God to do great and mighty things on your behalf.